Grand Rising's good people, and to those of you who are not so good, how do you do? It's Leisha. Thanks for joining me again on my Lady Like Leash YouTube page. And today, as you know, I like to do my little snippets. Um, I just want to talk about logic and schematics. So I've recently come into contact with some new people. I'm supporting their businesses, I go to their shops, I promote them, I go and check on them, offer my services if they need it, offer my help if they need it, that sort of thing. And um, I went and visited somebody yesterday in their shop and they had some customers in there, which I greeted, said hello, nice, you know what I mean? Sorry folks, I have to smoke today, I'm on a quick break. And um, had some customers in there, I greeted them, greeted him. And his first response to me was, I've called you a couple of times, you haven't returned my call. And I'm like, yeah, hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm well, thanks for asking. Yeah, I really, you know, I appreciate your custom kind of thing is what I'm thinking, surely, come on. So I said to him, but bro, I've returned your call. Um, then I can show you, it's on my phone. There's your missed call. There's my call out to you. One's in red, one's in black. And there's the times you didn't pick up. So I can make an assumption that you were busy when I returned the call. So what was the problem? I mean, you could have sent a message, you could have sent a WhatsApp, you could have DM'd me on my Insta. There's loads of things you could have, there's loads of other ways in which you could have got hold of me if it was that important. Furthermore, you could have just sent a standard generic text message with saying, yeah, call me back urgent, or actually say in the message what the problem is, even via a voice note. So when I've now said to that person, but I've returned your call and you didn't see it. They then tried to bounce the tennis ball back into my court like it was my problem. Yeah, but I didn't see the missed call. And your point being is. So then he comes up, he comes up with, yeah, but I called you Friday as well. So that's why I said, why are we talking about schematics now? The fact of the matter is, is that I have returned your call regardless of what, in fact, I returned your call last. So I'm actually waiting to hear from you. I haven't got no missed calls on my phone. That's not my problem. Why are we having this discussion in front of your customers in the middle of the shop? You don't even know why I've come in here. Have I got time to be having this discussion? Is this the time and the place for this? So I say to them, what do you want to speak to me about? All right, don't matter now. Don't matter now. Okay, so it obviously wasn't, didn't matter that much to begin with. Otherwise you would have called, didn't it? You would have kept trying if that's, that's what most people do. If they want to get hold of you, they keep trying. So that's why I say I talk, to talk about logic and schematics because his argument had no logic and then what he tried to use schematics on me and tried to get into the intricacies of a nonsensical non-logical conversation so when we meet and greet each other yeah let's not get caught up in our feelings let's not talk from a place of self all the time yeah and maybe take into consideration what the other person may have been dealing with or what they may have come to say to you rather than just jumping all over in somebody's boat like that and then i don't even want to spend my money in your shop I don't even want to recommend you no more. I don't want no more dealings with you because you have no respect. And then following on from that, I'm just going to keep you for another few minutes, peeps. I hope you don't mind. Following on from that, yeah, he's got this thing about my name, all right? My real name is Leisha, yeah? L-E-S-C-H-A. It's not Alicia, Olisha, Elisha, Shalisha, Aisha, Aisha, to not, none of none of to, Tonisha. It's none of them. It's just plain, simple, Leisha. But yet he wants to call me Lise. So during the middle of the conversation, I looked at him and I was like, I don't actually know who you're talking to because my name is not Lise. It's not Lisa. It's not. It's not anything sounding. It may be a tad similar, but it's not. That's not my name. So can you show me some respect, please, and actually call me by my name? My man comes up with, yeah, Leash. I'm like, but I didn't give you permission to call me Leash. I just told you my name was Leisha. What point of that? What part of that didn't you understand? Yeah, Leash, I hear you. Yet again, I'm going to repeat. My name is Leisha. Yeah, Leash. So I'm like, you're just being disrespectful now, innit? You just want to rub people up the wrong way. You're just being completely out of order as far as I'm concerned. I've had to go as far as to say to him, do you know that my name is registered? My mum and dad actually had to pay for me to have my name, basically. Yeah? My birth and me, me are somebody. That's what I ended up saying to him. Me are somebody too. So he's like, but you get my name wrong. I said, but you introduced yourself to me as you did. And I call you as you tell me to. If you tell me to call you something else, then that's what it is that I'll do. 
So don't, again, don't try and bring schematics into a conversation that has no logic, no foundation, no groundation. You just want to pick at somebody. You're a vulture. In Jamaican, we call them dotted jonkra. So on that note, peeps, all I want to say is, is that, yeah, when you're speaking to people, remember that you're not winning a conversation. Yeah, it's not about winning. It's not a battle. It's not a war when we're talking to each other. So have a blessed and wonderful day and try to speak to somebody how you would like to be spoken to. One love.